What's up folks, and welcome back to my Let's Play series for The Outer Worlds. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the last mission remaining with the Distress Signal. This particular one is called Vulcan's Hammer, and what we have to do here is find a prototype weapon that one of the scientists was working on. Hope you enjoy, and please remember to like and subscribe. Alrighty guys, we're going to be helping out the last scientist today. And just a quick recap, we actually kept the secret research for the toothpaste and gave back the Raptodon Musk. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. We're not here to kill you, man. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? I'm just here to help. Someone sent out a distress call. Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carpet in here, it's just a matter of... Orson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah. Of course, because I didn't... Seriously, dude, we're still standing right here. Any time now, any time now. If you keep ignoring us, I might just end up killing you. You got five seconds, man. Hello. Oh, you're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. Now, we got the carpet. Jesus Christ, dude. Come on. Of course, because I didn't... I swear to God, man. If you keep ignoring me, I will kill you. Man, this quest isn't even worth it. Alright, you got five seconds, bud. Five. Four. Oh, you're lucky, bud. Who are you, anyway? I am Orson Shaw, Chief Behavioral Scientist. I was brought in to study the Raptodons. I was to ensure that, should a problem arise, our team is adequately equipped to deal with them. Sounds like a complete waste of time to me. Just shoot the goddamn things. As a matter of fact, I agree. They are insatiably hungry, absolutely impossible to control in any fashion, and indeed appear to be powered entirely by hate. No amount of studying will enable us to control them, or even slightly sate their aggression. So your research amounted to absolutely nothing? Not quite. We are now acutely aware of their weaknesses. Bullets through the head. I could have told you that. Good to know, bud. Really, again, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say that we're going to spend more time listening to this guy blabbling than we'll actually be out in the field doing the mission. Alright bud, I'm going to start counting you down real soon. Five, four, three, two, you're goddamn lucky. What exactly are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device, or trying to anyway if you run a wire from your capacitor there you can bypass that circuit and save a little bit of power I why yes I suppose I could thanks need a hand no uh, well yes well no perhaps I left schematics in our storage facility as far as I know the security commander hasn't found them yet I admit I'd feel better where they return to me. Sure, I'll see what I can find. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Uh, no. Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I'm done talking with you. I'm actually curious to see if you can actually kill NPCs like that. And this dude's quest is called Vulcan's Hammer. Alright guys, I'll see you once we get outside the city. God damn, the combat is starting off real early today. And I don't think we've actually seen hostiles that close to a settlement before. More bad guys, eh? Let's snipe them this time.
Man, the combat in this game is actually getting a little bit easy now that we have some of the perks that we need. And if you're new to the channel, we definitely have a long gun focus, and all the other weapons, we pretty much just don't use them. Oof, don't want to step on one of those. Those will mess you up real bad. I think we're good now. No more mines. Cool, let's head on inside. Oh nice, heavy ammo just laying around. That's a little bit uncommon. Oh man, that guy had no idea we were standing right there, point blank, just aiming at his head. Unexpected. Beginning Take your best shot now. I have to say, of all the enemies that we're facing right now, I think that these guys are probably the toughest because when they're not standing at the right angle, you can't really shoot their energy canister. Some pretty good stuff in here as well. Probably taking all of it. All this space, and this is all they get to sleep in? Yep, these guys don't have much of a lifestyle, that's for sure. You get lots of drugs, though, apparently. Alright, I think that we got the key for somewhere in this place. Just had to find out what that car key actually opens. Let's take a look downstairs. That's actually where the waypoint is pointing us. So I don't think that we were supposed to go up there first. I think we lucked out. I don't even know how you can get a kitchen this dirty with just canned food. This must be the door right here. Excellent. Security lockdown, eh? Force blah 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 pistol. Okay. Force floggy synchrotron pistol status functional. Untrained personnel must attend site safety seminar S023 before using. Alright, I guess we'll have to be looking for that thing. Pretty good stuff in here. I think we missed something back here. Oh yeah, what's this? Plasma carbine, eh? Ooh, that sounds like it could be replacing something in our arsenal. Always need the heavy ammo. Alright, let's take a look at this thing. 95 versus 156. Let's try this out. Oh yeah, this thing is an absolute beauty. It looks like we have something to test it out on as well. This is how you hide something valuable in plain sight. That thing absolutely wrecked. Holy shit. I wonder if this Force Flawzy whatever Tron weapon is going to be any good. Oh. Here we are. I guess we can give this thing to Ellie. 
Detailed drawings of an advanced pistol, revisions, and comments are scrawled across the image in mostly illegible writing, except the name Orshin Shaw scribbled in the corner. The schematics depict a flawzy synchrotron pistol from a brand named Force, which is not native to the Halcyon colony. It is unclear from these plans what a flawzy synchrotron actually does. And I have no idea what it does either. I'm actually getting used to saying flawzy synchrotron, but I'll probably never be saying it again after this episode. Alright guys, let's get the hell out of here and get back to that scientist. I'm fairly confident that if we give the schematics over, this dude is going to give us a prototype and I really want it. Oh, hello. Uh, why do you seem familiar? Have we met? Yeah, you asked me to grab your prototype schematics from storage. Ah, yes. Very good. And have you done that? Got them right here. What a relief! You hold months of work in your hands. Hold on, force weapons are contraband. Why don't you turn this in when you found it? Anton would have just given them to Porter without a second thought. What a waste of potential that would have been. These are valuable schematics. I could sell them for quite the profit. Hmm. Sadly true. Contraband does tend to fetch a high price among the colony's ne'er-do-wells. So be it. I'll buy them off of you. Alright, you got a deal. Much obliged. Here are your bids. Now, let's see here. Attach this, twist that, apply a little pressure, and... Voila! I can finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh. Hmm. I can't be caught with this. You take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, Perhaps I'll get you the first model, hot off the presses. I'll, uh, call you? Yes, I'll call you. Alright, another mission is complete. Now let's take a look at what this pistol actually does. So this thing does 228. Not too bad, but not too good either. Anyways guys, that's probably going to be it for me today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.